Okay, so for your activity, uh, your first activity in computer, uh, we will be using a software or an application depending on the device that you are using. So if you are using a Windows-based device, uh, you can open a browser or open a bro browser, type CPU-Z. So this is the application that we will be using to check the specification of your computer. So uh, uh, in the CPU-Z download, uh, CPU-Z homepage, there's a download area wherein you can click Zip English. So meron pa siyang, yan. So it will uh, open up, uh, let, us, let us wait for this to open up the download page. Where are you? Oh, yeah, download now. There you go. So all you have to do is to download that on a, on the folder that you know can be on the desktop or, or on a downloads or on a temporary folder. Let's call that uh, CPUC. And as you can see, it downloaded, uh, it's, it's already in the, uh, it has downloaded the file. Then you have to extract since it is in the zip file. So extract all. So may lalabas na another uh, folder. Uh, sorry, window. Let me just open that here. There you go. Then extract. So it will open a new window. And you can choose any of the two. 32, X32 means 32 bit. 64 means 64 bit. So uh, if you're not sure, you can click the 32 bit. Pero I'm sure that I'm using a 32 bit computer. I'll just double click that. And uh, okay, uh, it's in the background. I'm just still opening. There you go. So there you go. So that is CPU Z on Windows devices. But if you uh, if you're using a Mac, some of you are using a Mac. You can uh, open this on App Store. So you, there's an app store in your uh, Mac devices or Apple devices. Then look for CPU-Z. So in the search bar, just type CPU-Z. And this one, so there you go. So this is your CPU-Z. You, you uh, click that, uh, let the operating system install that for you, and that's it. Uh, it may have, uh, it may be in a different uh, interface, pero makikita nyo pa rin the same, uh, the same information. You can see the same information that I am showing to you right now. If you're using an Android device, so all you have to do is go to Google Play and search for that. Let's type CPUZ. And there you go. So they have the same logo. Isa lang yung logo ni CPU-Z. So CPU-Z and install. So I've already installed it in my Android device. Now, uh, how do we use it? So tatlo lang naman ang kailangan kong makita. So let me uh, zoom that. Oops, nakapatay yata yung aking magnifier. Okay, there you go. So, uh, uh, so there are three things that I want you to look in your CPU. -Z. First is the CPU or the processor, the central processing unit. So, ano yung brand name niya if there is one? Kasi minsan, uh, meron siyang brand. It can be Intel, AMD, ARM. Okay? Lalo na kapag cellphone ang gamit nyo, it, it must be ARM or kaya Qualcomm o kaya MediaTek, okay? So, isulat nyo yun, as well as yung gigahertz. Kung ilang gigahertz siya. When we say gigahertz, basically, this is the number of, of instruction it can do per second. So, 2.6 gigahertz means it can uh, finish doing 2 billion 
600 million instructions in a second. So that's what 2.6 gigahertz mean. So you have to write this down as well. So in the CPU, the, the brand, the brand and the model, so yeah, 6700 HQ, that must be the model. And of course, the frequency. Frequency, this one. Pinsan, uh, uh, in, if you're looking at the CPU of a cell phone, minsan, uh, kung octa-core yan, iba-iba yung speed. I want you to write that down as well. Okay. Next is the memory. Memory is where your applications are loaded once you open an application. Kaya nga minsan, kapag masyado ng maraming uh, application yung nakabukas sa inyong computer or sa inyong device, bumabagal na siya because uh, it can only hold as much as uh, as the memory can hold. Kaya what you need to do is to close other application para bumilis-bilis siya ulit. But if you want, yeah, you can upgrade your memory or uh, if, you are, uh, uh, if you have a... Uh, for mobile devices, hindi pwedeng i-upgrade, you should buy a, a mobile device that has a higher memory para mas marami kayong mabuksan na application at the same time. And lastly, graphics. So dito, uh, it is one way para bumilis ang computer yung graphics. Uh, most, uh, halos lahat uh, ng mga, uh, mga mobile devices ay uh, meron ng graphics card, lalo na kasi yung mga pang gaming. So they need this uh, chip or this, specific, uh, this part of your uh, device para mas bumalis yung gaming experience nyo. Or simply, uh, yung pagnanavigate. Minsan, pag magnanavigate ka lang sa cellphone mo, kapag walang kumababang klase yung inyong uh, graphics card, medyo naglalag. Nilipat ka lang from one application to another, uh, medyo nababagalan siya because mahina klase yung graphics card. And since uh, the interface of a uh, of mobile devices or graphics in nature uh, hindi nakakayanan ng graphics card kaya bumabagal or naglalag okay so that's it so uh, uh, also i will be uh, giving you a uh, uh, a tutorial on how to submit in google classroom para doon sa iba nating mga kasama na hindi familiar pa sa Google Classroom, I will be uh, I'll be giving a tutorial as well on how to submit. Okay. So let me just uh, close the recording of this one.